Pixelage allows you to split any piece of content over a range of ShowPix or StudioPix fixtures. Setting this up requires the use of the Echo program on your computer, which uses RDM to communicate with the fixtures, either from a DMX dongle or from a HOG 3 PC single universe widget. Pixelage content is stored in a separate folder in Echo. To start a new Pixelage package, right-click on Show Pix or Studio Pix and select New Pixelage. In the New window, click on the fixture type you'd like to make the template for. If you want to give it a name, just right-click on it and choose Rename. Next, we'll start adding Studio Pix to the preview pane by clicking Add Studio Pix. To make this easier, we can choose from existing grids to help line the fixtures up. When you're not snapping to a grid, you can place your pixels anywhere, but because I want to set up an even 3x3, I've chosen to snap to the grid to save time. Now that I have them set up, I'll click lock so I don't accidentally move my fixtures. Next, we'll pick the media that we want to apply this template to. I've got an MPEG here that I like to use. Allow Echo a moment to call up the file, especially if it's a large one. I want to tweak the size and placement of the content, and I think that's easier to see if we click Expand. Here I can grab the content and move it around, or resize it just by grabbing a corner. Since I chose a movie file, I get the option to preview what this content will look like playing on the fixtures below. On the left side, if I uncheck Show Media, we'll get a better idea of what this will look like on stage coming from the real fixtures. Click Collapse, and we're back to the Pixelage Creator window. Beneath the regular Echo Content Manipulation options, click Create Studio Pix Pixelage, and give it a name. Closing the creator, we see our new Pixelage package, and opening it will show us a quick preview of what each fixture in the rig will be playing. The number 1 in the corners of each fixture and also in the left pane refer to this package's file number. But the fixtures don't have the content yet. Remember the grid of Studio Pix is from our template? Well, each one had a number next to it. That number will represent the Pixelage address for each fixture. This number does not affect or replace your fixture's DMX start address or your user numbering system on the console. And if you need to change these, it's as simple as right-clicking and selecting Renumber. To assign these Pixelage addresses to your Show Pix or Studio Pix, just right-click on the fixture, select Set Pixelage Address, and enter in the corresponding number. Lastly, we need to upload the Pixelage content. From the Pixelage menu, select Update Pixelage Content and choose the type of fixture you're uploading to. Select the appropriate fixtures and then click Finish. That's it! Once this is done, you can now call up your Pixelage from your console. To download the Echo program, go to highend.com.